Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. I'm still Randy, and you're still in a bull market. So let's get right to it. This this is an excellent, excellent market. This was a very busy weekend, and I just there's a lot of good things going around right now. A lot of things are in the middle of large moves up. Um, we're going to talk about some of the some of the tokens that we've discussed here last week, and the ones that are, that are still doing pretty good. Some did get stopped out, that's fine, but the winners are more than making up for that. Also, looking at a couple potentials coming up, we're going to be talking about KCS token, um, Caspa, Pancake Swap, and Solana on top of our normal BTC action. So let's get to BTC action, and uh, this is very healthy BTC action. I got no issues with this. I like this a lot. We're holding nice and tight. It was a nice tight weekend. Friday, Saturday. I'm sorry. Sun, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday. Look at the volume down here. Look at the price action. Holding right at that 35,185 level. We should get going uh, ideally any time. My volume aggregation tool here shows excellent signals. We're looking at these little uh, plus signs or what are called pocket pivots. They're, they're high volume signatures. And we have plenty of them here recently. Even even over here in the middle of of Nowhereville, um, we do have one red pocket pivot, which is a distributive pocket pivot. So moving down a little bit, but nothing too bad. BTC looks like ready to go. Whenever it's deciding to go, it looks like it can. So um, the triggers almost any time. Your stop loss, your stop loss is on this trend line somewhere, currently about the 34,412 level. This is the time to be aggressive and you don't wanna be super worried about um, profit taking. You wanna let your profits run as much as you possibly can. I don't wanna put a target on the possibility for this market. It's really good, it's really good. Okay, so that's Bitcoin. You're basically looking for any reason to entry and then, okay, you want to have a good stop loss, which like I said, is about the 34.4 level. And then we want to let this thing work. After that, we're just going to go straight down my list here. Uh, KCS, we had this from last week at the 4.748 level. Um, there's our trading plan, if you will. This is a classic, beautiful breakout. This is what you want. We're not fully at our, at our potential target for the 5.8. 873, but we're getting close. We're about two thirds way there and getting down to the smaller time frame. My two hour chart here shows excellent price action. Volume aggregation tool shows the buyers are firmly in control. We do have some small divergences in the RSI, but you're always going to. You're always going to have divergences when you have a big move up like that. It can't sustain forever. Um, and this doesn't mean you exit. This is perfectly healthy price action for right now. So you hold on to this, wait for that target or some other kind of a sell signal. Caspa finally got going uh, in my other channel. We've been waiting for this one for literally months. 0527, we are through that level. Great rally up here. This one with a good percentage, 22% so far. It doesn't look like we're done. So what's happening here is we're rallying up. We're forming some kind of a consolidation. Volume is declining, but the price isn't falling. And that's the key in these situations. When your volume declines, you want price to be sideways. And we're getting that with Caspa and a lot of other coins right now. A lot of other coins right now. This is a very thick bull market. All right, so Caspa doing great here. In terms of an entry, um, you're better to buy in a pullback if you haven't gotten in on this. This should be a good level of support at the 60974, I should say 0.060974. In crypto, the numbers get weird, so bear with me on that one, but you know what I'm talking about. If you can buy closer to this number, that would be better. Your stop loss, probably just be a couple percentage points underneath of this, um, and then waiting for the next leg up. This should have a good leg up. This was ranked 42 on coin market cap. Plenty of room to go. It's a layer one. That's a big benefit to it. And look at the volume signature on my daily time frame. Just really, really big volume signatures. Haven't seen a volume signature this tall going all the way back here till July. Uh, and then prior to that, you're talking May. So these volumes don't come across very often. And when they do, you got to pay attention. And then pancake swap. Um, I mentioned this last week to don't sleep on this one. Um, even as it popped up here, our target was 150. It's at 240. I told you this thing can go up dramatically, and it has. <clears throat> and it's not done by any stretch of the imagination. We talked about volume declination just a short time ago being a good thing. And here you have it again. 
big volume, volume declining dramatically, e even on the two hour time frame. The, the rules hold for the daily, the hourly, the minute, it doesn't matter. Okay. Volume declining nicely. Look at how nice and tight this is sideways. Beautiful chart pattern. We should keep going. Our next alert is for 2437. Should hold the 2197. If we get too far below the 2197, you're looking at this trend line to hold you up. Um, or we could go sideways into this trend line too, which actually would probably be better, but we'll see what happens. Um, and then Solana. I mentioned last week, this is our market leader. Well, Randy, if it's our market leader, why isn't it moving? Start moving already. I want it to move already. I got money in it. No, it'll move when, it, when it's ready. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about your money, your wants, or your needs. It will move when it's ready. Okay. Jeez, so impatient. 4181 is my current alert for this one. Volume declination, really nice. Look, it's just chilling in low volume, but it's not going anywhere. So it's not doing anything bad. You only worry about something has done something amazing when it starts to do something horrible. And this is not doing anything horrible. This is amazing. This is great. I am like literally getting goosebumps looking at this chart. So uh, if it does what it should be doing, we can go sideways for a little bit, but it should start popping up sometime. You never know when you know these things move in their own time. Uh, the good thing about Solana is that it's a true market leader. And now I can talk about it. It was running up so far so fast before I really couldn't get a word in edgewise. But now we can. So don't sleep on this one. This is the leader to the entire market. Okay. When this one goes, it's going to go big. So 4181 for Solana. Um, if it if it starts to go lower, like down towards this recent low of, of uh, $38. And again, if we still are maintaining low volumes, you can potentially take an entry down there and your stop loss could be like, say we get down to here, you could have a three to four to five percent if you want to give it a wide berth, maybe even six percent. Uh, you can have a pretty good stop loss on uh, the leading crypto in this market right now, um, which is a rare gift to be quite honest with you. So this is not your normal episode. Uh, this is one of those days where you want to pay attention, you want to be ready, and you want to be invested in this market, okay? Doesn't come along very often. Take advantage of it. I'll see you guys in the comments. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.